This is part two of the RC2 uh, introductory video, the video wall controller, and we're going to take a look at the uh, menu options. Uh, first up, when you uh, activate the menu, is picture. Uh, picture mode, color temperature, aspect ratio, noise reduction, uh, screen, color range. These are all things that you can uh, do to tweak your, your image. Generally, uh, most, most users don't uh, do any adjustment in, in this uh, range uh, in picture. Uh, factory defaults are going to get you through most situations. Uh, next, the sound mode. And it's important to remember that uh, your RC2 does pass HDMI, HDMI audio. Uh, whatever you, uh, audio is coming into the device with HDMI from your DVD player, cable box, or whatever, does get passed on to your uh, output uh, devices, your TVs. Uh, alternately, you can, of course, use a uh, Dolby sound system or, or whatever, uh, but there are some devices out there that do not pass audio because the manufacturers haven't paid the licensing fees to use the, the proper chips and so on. But uh, rest assured, uh, you can get uh, copy-protected program material through the RC2 because of the uh, HDMI pa audio pass-through. Clock uh, is basically a uh, timer to turn the RC2 on and off. Uh, this is uh, most applicable to clubs, businesses using the RC2 for uh, video walls that are basically digital signage. You can program it to turn, turn on when you open for business, turn off at the end of the day, etc. The, the next screen option is uh, probably the, the screen that you're most likely to, to want to make any adjustments on. Uh, On-screen display language, there's a whole range of uh, languages, uh, uh, Spanish, Chinese, etc. Uh, restore factory default is going to be uh, useful in the event that you have been editing in the audio and uh, video uh, screens and gotten yourself kind of out in left field, you want to go back to ground zero. Keep in mind, if you restore to deck factory default, that your on-screen display language language may well end up in Chinese, so you may have to feel your way back to uh, this menu to change back to uh, OSD, or uh, uh, contact me if you need any uh, help or guidance in that regard. A mosaic is what uh, the, the factory calls the output configuration. So we're currently in the 2x2 two two output configuration, or 2x2 two two mosaic. Um, as we mentioned, you can go to 1x3, two by one, all, any combination under four. Uh, going down to uh, the MAC address, this is where you choose which of the outputs you want to work with if you want to do something like mirror. So if you want to turn the top two images upside down, which is what I have done here, I have chosen one and gone down to mirror, activated, gone to two, gone down to mirror and activated, and those two are turned upside down. Horizontal and vertical mosaic pitch is where we adjust for lost pixels. And uh, this unit hasn't been adjusted yet. As you can see, we're missing a few pixels here. Um, and as you can see, the horizontal mosaic pitch is at zero, and the vertical mosaic pitch as it is at zero. And this is where we change it. And we're going to broaden that out. And go back and you see now we're not missing any pixels. Soft address setting two there. Uh, output mode, you can select a 720 if you're using older monitors and output uh, HDMI. Uh, the alternate uh, selection in, in this last uh, line of the menu is DVI, uh, in, in the event that you want to use DVI uh, monitors. Uh, keep in mind that, of course, the uh, audio isn't going to be transmitted along with DVI like it is with HDMI. In that case, you can 
uh, pull the audio off the back of the controller with the audio output. And there are the menu options for the RC2.